Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I'm back for a fairly impromptu video today because Path of Exile has just dropped an April expansion teaser trailer. Now, uh, it's 30 seconds long, but there is so much information in here or, uh, you know, so many red herrings we don't really know. But what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna watch through the whole thing and then we're gonna go back and look at each specific point that uh, means something to me maybe or might mean something to you. We're gonna talk about it. Uh, we're gonna basically just theorize out our ass right now. Uh, so let's just do that. I'm very excited here. Wow. So that's the trailer. Um, there is there is so much in that already. Uh, you know, we've got uh, views of things that look like Val, uh, Val side areas or kind of Val themes. We've got things that look like incursion themes. We've got stuff like this little statue here um, that I'm sure I've seen something like this here before, but the head obviously is very, you know, emulating of a chaos orb, uh, which is pretty interesting. So something maybe to do with chaos itself uh, could be kind of interesting. Uh, but then we did see, obviously, a little bit further down, we saw the actual name of the league just right there, Path of Exile Ultimatum. There's no, you know, teasing about it uh, much or anything like that. They're just coming straight out. They're just saying it. And on the 16th of April is when that league will be starting. Uh, and then at the end, we've also got another image of Path of Exile 2, which is kind of crazy that uh, they've just thrown this at us. What does that actually mean? Uh, so let's just go through it all. So first of all, as I did say here, this statue, uh, there's kind of this red hue around it everywhere, which kind of reminds me of Val side areas or the Val itself. Uh, but the head as well is more representative of the whole statue and the body and everything like that is more representative of the kind of things that we would uh, see in Incursion or very Incursion-esque. So a mix between Val and Incursion, maybe some sort of throwback to one of those leagues could be happening here. Something else that's pretty interesting is you can see the duality of lighting here. Now that's just not a stylistic choice as we'll see in the next little bit. Uh, we've got the red and we've got the blue. We've got the red on the left and the blue on the right there of the two uh, different types of light. If we do go forward here, uh, we just see a little bit of a uh, zoom in here. But then there's a flash. You can see right here. People don't, uh, pe people missed it a little bit. Well, not really missed it, but they didn't really focus too much on it. Wait, where are we? All right, about, here we are, here we are. So again, you can see uh, this character, whoever this character is holding up a kind of red glowing light and a blue glowing light. So <laughs> red pill, blue pill, anyone? Uh, it could be an interesting uh, choose your choice type of league because red and blue are very uh, indicative of two very opposite sides of choices. You know, we've got bad and good in Star Wars. We've got, you know, the red pill and the blue pill in the Matrix, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, so that's, that's quite interesting here. Now you can see in the background right here, we've got these steps. Now these steps very much look like the steps towards its Ziri. Now I haven't actually gone and had a good look exactly at the Itziri zone itself. And if there's like statues on the side that look like this, there's a skull over here, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, uh, but this this uh, character itself, as you can see here, there's kind of the split head again, like a chaos orb. And we can see some elements of, uh, of incursion uh, based or kind of Aztec based uh, headpiece here. Uh, it's, it's, you know, th there's a lot in here uh, that I haven't fully gone into. Maybe later today on stream, we're gonna dive deep and try and uh, match some pictures, see if this is the Itziri zone, but I'm just kind of spitballing right now because I, this is just out. Uh, so yeah, there's that character. Then we move on and we see some actual gameplay itself. So someone just playing Ark uh, with these strange platform things here uh, that have uh, kind of people holding the platforms and some items on top of them, whatever those items are. Looks to me like that's a crafting orb. 
Uh, usually when an orb of something drops on the ground, uh, it drops as just a round ball. So uh, maybe some sort of crafting league is happening here. Uh, as I suspected uh, <laughs> with the Harvest nurse, that some sort of crafting league could be happening. So you can see here, move along. Now we've got here the same sort of thing, but we've got these circles happening. Now these circles, uh, are, it could be a version of um, you know, some of the encounters here. Another thing to note is around these totem areas, uh, there are symbols and these sorts of symbols over here as well, which are pretty much straight taken from the incursion itself, uh, the incursion league itself. I was doing some uh, matching back and forth and we'll, I'll, I'll talk about uh, something a little bit later with the logo of that, but uh, it's very, very, very indicative of incursion. Um, now, you can also see that as you walk and you stand in this area here, it starts to glow, right? It starts to glow. Um, and then some more symbols start coming out. As you can see here, uh, there's a little bit of a triangle here with some swirls. That is just 100% incursion right there. That's just like something that's right off the incursion. We can even have a look here. Uh, the incursion logo, I'm pretty sure. Yep, right here. So you can see here these little swirls up like this and then smaller swirls. That's just straight taken uh, from incursion. Uh, which is really, really interesting. What exactly does that does that mean? I, I don't really know, but we're gonna dive into that uh, more on stream. And I'm sure we'll see that on the 8th of April, we'll see the announcements. And then basically just one more here. There's not too much more to see here, uh, except it's just another platform with another one of those orbs that we've seen there. And you're kind of clearing enemies. You can see over here, hang on, let me just jump back a little bit. You can see that enemies do spawn. Oops. Uh, yeah, enemies spawn in these areas. Uh, as you see over here, kind of like a, a uh, it's kind of like a red glow as they spawned and they came in. So it's what is looking like, this looks like Grave Trough, the map. And before we had, uh, what, uh, Desert or Dunes. Um, so it's an in-zone uh, league mechanic itself. Um, don't know exactly what it is. We're still trying to figure that out, hey? But then we come to here, the uh, Path of Exile Ultimatum. Now, Ultimatum, what does that mean? That's gonna be really, really interesting to try and delve into ourselves, but we see a lot here as well. We see this really interesting triangle uh, pyramid here with the same uh, statue holding it from underneath, right? This leads me to believe that, you know, in most maps, in all maps, you're gonna get one of those uh, platforms that has, you know, something on it, some sort of orb or something like that. But then sometimes, or maybe you'll build up towards getting a uh, this this triangle here, which is maybe an elevated version of Varling. You put your item in the triangle, and it kind of it does some strange Varl thing to it. Now we do know that the first uh, league to do with corruption or Varling was uh, obviously the sacrifice of the Varl League, where the Varl was introduced. Now a really big mechanic of incursion. Uh, that people mostly use it for is the uh, altar of corruption. Now I know that is, uh, you know, incursion has uh, rooms for every single league mechanic or a lot of league mechanics, but you know, it's a pretty big part of incursion itself. So maybe it's something to do with uh, uh, violing here as well. That's just what I'm thinking. Now we do see around here, around the, uh, around the statue itself, uh, there's some symbols, but around the actual ultimatum itself, there's a very faded uh, little, symbol thing here, which once again is extremely indicative of incursion itself. Uh, very, very, very interesting to see all this uh, incursion-esque stuff coming through. Now, don't get too caught up about the background here. This just looks like it's uh, the Crimson Temple map, and this is a spawn in the Crimson Temple map. So don't worry too much about what this might mean. However, the next area is an area we have never seen before. Now, this is uh, what looks like an area to a boss room or a reward room or something like that is what I'm guessing. We've got these big pillars here. Uh, again, it's still kind of, it, it's, it's kind of reminding me of incursion right here. We've got this kind of triangle based uh, platform here, which looks like some sort of waypoint that you teleport in from. And you can see the, uh, the player based character here is just walking towards uh, some sort of door up here. Uh, so that's all of what I have to talk about in this trailer. That's all they give us. It, apart from this last 
boom right there of the Path of Exile 2. So what the heck does this even mean? I have a couple of theories straight off the bat. My first theory that I've been sticking to for a while since the Harvest Nurse is that we are getting uh, quite a comprehensive overhaul of loot drops in uh, Path of Exile 3.15 being smart loot. So something that they've been talking about, something that they've been uh, putting into work with things like heist and uh, ritual, uh, where the items that you find, the rare items that you find are, you know, a little bit less in their reward screens, like in the ritual or, you know, from your, um, uh, from your experimented bases, but the stats on them are much better. I am hoping that across the board uh, for Path of Exile 2, for testing a Path of Exile 2 as well, uh, that the we, we are getting across the board all loot drops are going to be smart loot drops. That That's a potential idea. The second potential idea that I do have is that the crafting uh, orbs that we were seeing on top of those pillars, this is a really big one and I don't think that they do something this crazy, but those crafting orbs are basically the new orbs of crafting for Path of Exile in general. How Path of Exile 2 wants to tackle crafting will be in a new set of orbs or something like that deterministically I'm, I'm not really sure this this theory doesn't really have any sort of grounds it's just spitballing so don't expect it but it's just my ideas so what do you think of all of this guys uh let me know in the comments below i would love to hear everything that you do have to say about the league itself you know what you think ultimatum means uh and what you think of all of the images and video uh, footage that we have seen so far. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that sub button because we are so close to 30,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me push over that line of, in this video, then uh, I think uh, if it, just a few of you hit that button, we'll be right there. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate all of your support. And until next time, Badger out.